Dyson Sphere is amazing now. Mm -hmm. 4,000 energy at its uh, highest level. Yeah, that's power, son. <laughs> Welcome back to space, Hello. everyone. Today is the day yes, that a lot of things happen. We're here for is the release of Ancient Relics. Yep. Two point yep. three. What what does chat want us to start with? I'm I'm guessing they want us to start with um, the Blorg. <laughs> yeah, we're playing as the Blorg. I, I thought you know what? Let's let's bring back this old ditty. Um, unfortunately, not led by Mercedes Romero. What's the date? Like in human date when Mercedes Romero died? We should, we should, we should know that. They should, should get on it. Yeah. Did you open an L gate already? Um, Cheater. I may, I may have prepared the save by <laughs> going like. research all technologies, mm. um, just so we could show off some of the the features. Uh, <laughs> I I wanted to cheat, but I didn't want to fully cheat and just explore this everything. We're we're gonna go through the uh, the the patch notes. I have them here. They're even highlighted. I don't, actually, you can't see it. Because the <laughs> the green screen cuts it out on the <laughs> <laughs> on stream, uh, so it is highlighted. So, relics are these things that you can collect through various means. Yes. Um, when I, when I played uh, just last week, I got one through an event that came via an archaeology dig site. Um, that one is specifically that one was exclusive to uh, ancient relics, but there are ones that you get for free even if you don't buy ancient relics. Yeah. There's a couple of relics that you can find in, uh, in just base game features. Each crisis, for example, has a, um, a relic tied to it. Uh, but then there's also some, if you own some previous DLCs, you'll also be able to find some relics like the uh, Dragon Trophy or Ether yeah. Drake uh, Trophy like we found here. So this guy's 56%. And if we do this, and he was a worker, it was this guy. He's sixty-six percent now. Yeah, uh, which is really awesome. <clears throat> I mean, if we defeated a space dragon, yeah, I would be happy. And they had the festival the year after. Yeah, would you be happy? I, I would definitely be happy. And of course, it has an activation cost of uh, currently one hundred and fifty influence. Yeah, but also a what is that? Six. Ten-year cooldown. Ten-year cooldown. Um, uh, it's a little bit tricky because Stellaris doesn't run on, on uh, Earth years. Oh, um, yeah. Because each month, for simplicity's sake, is 30 days. Ah, there you uh, go. Which is different from our historical ga historical games. That you and they have the fancy animation effect in the background yeah. that shows that you have activated that relic. It looks so nice. Uh, let's activate this one as well. So this is the Extra Dimensional Warlock. comes from the Unbidden, um, which has a sublate speed... Uh, effect of giving us plus 15% sublight speed, and then the active effect gives us jump drive, uh, jump drive range of uh, plus 100%. Yeah, so twice the range. Oh, you can't an activate another relic while re no. uh, relic activation cooldown is active. All the relic activation effects have a shared cooldown. Uh, then we have archaeology. Now I'm not as familiar with the archaeology dig sites as you are. So I'm just going to pick one, and you can tell me if it's going to be a huge spoiler. Um, robot Debris. The it entire doesn't sound like a very big spoiler. Well, so Perfect. Um, so the way you find archaeology dig sites as you explore the yep. universe. <clears throat> they can also be triggered by events and special projects and things of that nature. So, mm -hmm. But most of them will be found on survey, I think. System oh, she's maybe she... Oh, there she, we go. I didn't click on... All right. I didn't click on the, uh, the 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 icon. So then uh, Helena will be in uh, in charge of this uh, archaeology site. Yeah, and she is level four, uh, which gives her a skill bonus of six because you also cheated with all the technologies. <laughs> yeah, so so you have the plus two from the archaeology lab. Yeah, technology. So we, yeah, so we see that the curator archaeology lab, which is uh, comes from tech mm -hmm. or research, uh, gives us a plus two skill bonus to archaeology, and then as you said. The skill four uh, comes from the skill of the uh, the scientist. Yeah, this uh, archaeology dig site is a difficulty three, mm -hmm. and uh, so that gives us a bonus of plus three to the roll. Mm -hmm. We rolled an eleven, um, which is <laughs> it's it, we rolled an eight plus our skill bonus of six, yeah, minus the difficulty of three. Yep, which gives us uh, eight plus three, yeah. eleven. 
So that's basically how it, how it works. Um, you don't have to sit and watch the UI either. No. You'll get like a notification that tells you, uh, oh, something has happened here at the site. Yeah. <coughs> because something that can also happen on the sites is that um, if you don't make a breakthrough, you can also get a random uh, event. Yeah. Even though there's a very small chance of you getting a random event, you can still get a random event. <laughs> All right. So we, uh, we got chapter one of uh, Robot Debris. So uh, that's curious. We gain five minor artifacts, and then we get to the next uh, archaeology archaeology phase. So we have, we we got a couple of minor artifacts from our archaeology and from I believe we got five. So we must have gotten one from somewhere else. Um, anyway, so we can sell them to uh, private collectors to get five hundred energy. Maybe not the, the the best deal in the world, but you know. It's an emergency deal. It's not the most fun one. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, there are a bunch of different ones. This is far from all of them. We have a question of how many sites are in the DLC. It should be 47, so I'm gonna say yeah. 47 because it should be 47. There's a chance that I'm wrong though, but that's what I remember. There, there are some, um, let's call them third-party mods, third-party IP mods out there mm -hmm. that I'm really looking forward to seeing what they're going to do with this new system. Yeah. Because, you know, uh, uh, there, there's there's a lot of uh, of history in a lot of uh, a lot of the mods that they could use for <laughs> the uh, for the archaeology system. Yeah. Oh, here we go. So we got uh, we got an event and we also finished the archaeological site. So this is the end. So that gave, uh, the end there gives us eight minor artifacts, which is more than any one chapter gave us, and a thousand engineering research. Neat. There we go. So that's, that's a full uh, archaeology <laughs> dig site from beginning to end. I wonder how they cheated. I'm... Console commands? <laughs> research all technologies. <laughs> <laughs> the archaeology system, the, yep. the same thing with the relic system. Ah, yes. Is that the relic system itself is not... Uh, locked behind the, um, the DLC the story pack either exactly yep. uh, so if mothers want to add uh, new relics and uh, things of that nature they can absolutely do that mm -hmm. uh, and it's gonna be really cool to see what people can come up with yeah all right so let's uh, quickly talk about the two new precursors the Baul and the Zeroni yeah the Baul is um, it's a very good storyline very cool ending yeah it, it <coughs> is uh, it's quite striking I'd say uh, the Sroni were a species that existed a very long time ago, mm -hmm. and um, they were the first empire in this galaxy to um, breach into the Shroud, and then you something happened. Yeah, and you have to, uh, I assume you have to use your best archaeologists for, for that as well, to yeah. figure out what... Uh... Your best archaeological pi pick, whip and hat. <laughs> Um, yeah, so uh, Relic <coughs> Worlds. Yeah, Relic Worlds. Um, like the name suggests, it's a name, a uh, world, not a name. It's a world that is now a relic by itself. So okay. what does that mean, you might ask? Yeah, I do. Um, <laughs> what, what what does that mean, Daniel? <laughs> uh, I don't know what it means in, uh, in a more philosophical level, but in terms of the game, um, it sort of means that it's essentially a planet that was once, you know, a very developed, perhaps even a monopolist uh, level of um, you know city planet, but it's now fallen into decay. It's just now ruins. You can colonize them; they can be restored into an monopolist for a cost. And restoring them will not require you to have the ascension perk. I no, there is. There's one. You did find one. They have this awesome, really cool sound effect. Yeah. Now as well that I can hear. I realized I can just observe and then let uh, the AI play the blog for me. Ah. <laughs> so, uh, um. so that's uh, pretty much it for the Ancient Relic story pack. Um, fortunately, we have another 45 minutes before the game releases. So let's talk <coughs> about 2.3 Wolf, the yes. free update. So sectors are no longer automatically uh, generated around planets. But rather, you will have to choose yourself to create a new sector yep. uh, for all um, planets outside your core system. Or sorry, core sector. In the Knorr system, it's perfect. Uh, you can uh, just create a new sector. Boom. Boom. That's a new sector, gets new governor. Yeah. We'll give it to Matthew. And all, um, all system w systems within uh, four jumps of that planet mm -hmm. that don't already belong to another sector will now uh, become a part of that sector. Yeah. Uh, all systems that do not belong to a um, a sector are 
belonging to so-called uh, frontier space. It doesn't uh, quite do anything right now, but we did outline some uh, plans or thoughts for how we could utilize the frontier space uh, differently in uh, the dev diaries. Something that's also different now is that um, automated planet uh, development yes. is no longer tied to just a sector, but rather you can choose to automate um, specific planets, whichever planets you want, uh, you can set them to automate on or off, whether they belong to a sector, it's your capital, or whatever. Any planet that you own, you can choose to automate on or off. This is pretty great, uh, it, <laughs> honestly. Yeah, uh, I really like being able to set my own planet designation. So like, oh, this is supposed to be... Like this planet, for example, has a bunch of farming districts, yeah, yeah, or yeah. at least the potential to, do, to build yeah, them. Yeah, I, I, I built a few uh, uh, city districts on this <clears> one. <throat> on the top right there, you have a uh, the shared stockpile. Mm. And the shared stockpile is used by all planets. Um, yeah, it can be used by all planets, regardless if they're in a sector or not. But then you also have, on top of that, you have the local stockpile, which is just used by a specific sector. Mm -hmm. So you are able to prioritize a sector mm. by giving it uh, resources. We, we've also made uh, some uh, pretty ch big changes to megastructures. <coughs> yes. Do you remember them all off the top of your head? I think so. Great. Um, habitats being the larger thing. Yeah. It would previously require you to have the Voidborn perk. Let's see if we can find it. There we go, Voidborn. But no that longer. is no longer the case. Uh, Voidborn is now instead a buff to building habitats or living on them in this case. But Daniel, I thought habitats were 100% habitability. They were, so you were correct. Yeah. But in 2.3, habitats are actually 70% habitability, oh. I believe. Um, so yes, and as you tooltip there, there's also some changes in uh, what habitability does. It's a little bit more harsh now. Yep. It actually reduces pop growth speed and resources, uh, resource output from jobs. Mm -hmm. But wait, you also have a couple of different districts. Yes. You actually have two that are yellow. Why? Uh, One might ask. So the reactor district, which gives plus three housing, plus three technician jobs. Yeah. Technicians produce energy credits, 12 per job is pretty good yeah and you can build those because you have built it that specific habitat okay above a planet that has energy then uh, this one has a trade district is a trade district mm -hmm. uh, housing and clerk jobs and then we have the leisure district yeah and the habitation district give has trade district and astro mining bay mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah the astro mining bay um, district is actually available because you have built that specific habitat above a uh, planet mm -hmm. that has mineral deposits on it. Galactic Wonders uh, gives us the uh, options to build ringworts, matter decompressors, <coughs> and yes, uh, Dyson because spheres. I also forgot to mention that we mentioned that you don't no longer need Voidborn to unlock habitats. Yep, uh, and that's because it's now a technology instead. Most of the mega structures are no longer uh, gated behind Galactic Wonders. Yeah. Station perk. Which is uh, pretty great. You're more likely to get certain technologies like mega engineering or uh, yeah things like that if you've actually done things that would yeah. sort of orient you towards that. So by having habitats or by having a star fortress or citadels, yeah. you actually um, have a higher chance of getting the mega engineering te technology. Dyson Sphere is amazing now. Mm -hmm. 4,000 energy at its uh, highest level. Yeah, that's power, Sam. <laughs> so uh, the, the the ring worlds have been changed quite heavily. They're only a plan size five now. Yes. How can I get by with only five uh, districts? It's because the districts for um, the ring worlds are very powerful. They're called segments. Oh, and right. Each segment is uh, quite strong um, compared to a regular district. Thrall World can now build energy grids and mineral purification plants. Um, so if you want your slaves to work on uh, something better, I suppose, uh, you can do yeah. that. Um, oh yeah, terraforming. No longer rerolls districts, blockers and unique deposits. If you're a person who does not agree that uh, gravity is desire, mm -hmm. and you, um, you decide that, you know what, this uh, worm in waiting thing, is not really for me mm -hmm. um, you might 
end up at odds with the worm in waiting. And previously, the worm was kind of a chump. No longer, correct? That's what the note said. <laughs> That's what the note said. So we don't get an, a special district. I think if you click the features button. But we have an ex exotic uh, gas <coughs> deposit. Yeah. Gives uh, max gas extraction wells plus one. Yeah, so you can build a building to uh, extract them. That's awesome. And the deposit is one deposit per uh, per strategic resource, or is it just one? I would assume it's uh, just to, one to match. All right. Um, after conquering or integrating <coughs> another empire, uh, what happens to their relics? Right now they're gone, but we were talk like we talked about in a previous dev diary. We we're thinking about doing something like maybe they can appear in like a black market where they can you get like an event where some some sort of black market trader offers you. All right. To um, to buy them. We're also go <coughs> gonna be looking into seeing if we want to add um, the possibility to declare war mm -hmm. um, for relics. Is there any use for ruined megastructures other than the restoring them? No, that's kind of the point of ruined megastructures <coughs> is you build a megastructure. Um, I was actually thinking of adding like a slight... So like you get some research points by having ruined megastructures mm. until you unlock uh, mega engineering and then you don't get the bonus anymore. Uh, does this DLC have music? Yes. Yes, it does. Four new tracks, I believe. Three or four. Three or four. Four. Um, unfortunately, we haven't loaded them up on the piece on the uh, uh, on the streaming PC, so we <coughs> can't play them right now. But they're good. Now Gwen is here to ask answer all your questions about 64-bit. <laughs> 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 it's right. time, guys. It's live. Is it live? The update is out right now. Do you wanna? So we have Project Lead, do you want to do it? Actually, do you know what? I want to congratulate my new game director for his first official release as, as GD of Stellaris. So I think you do that. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm going to try to point this not in someone's no, no, no. face. You, right here. Right, right up, but maybe over All here. Right. Do I just twist it? Yeah, just twist the, the top. Okay. Do yeah. we want a countdown? Uh, no, just do it. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 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 Thank you.